Cherry. That's what I'm going to be building my new speakers with. And I think I have enough. Now, the quality of what I have here is not the greatest. And what I mean by that is that there's a lot of sap wood. You see the lighter color wood over on this side, as opposed to the darker stuff over here. But I'm going to be making the speakers in a way that I think that that will actually kind of add to the look in that you'll have a contrast between that light and dark and like the way I'm going to build them is I'll be starting at the bottom and working my way to the top and the grain will actually go side to side. So it'll be made with like narrow strips that are stacked up. So I think that, you know, in an ideal world, you'd have nothing but this, but if you want to work with what you have, that might be the way to go. It's a little bit um, contentious, I guess you could say, to build speakers with solid wood to begin with, because solid wood expands and contracts. Whereas the speakers that you put in there, especially if you've got big ones, this is metal, it doesn't expand and contract, at least not enough to make a difference. Whereas wood certainly does. So you have to make allowances for that in some way. Now, in my case, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making it, like I said, stacked up from the bottom. And the woofer, this one right here, 15 inch woofer, will be in the bottom, close to the bottom anyway, about eight inches up from the bottom. And it will be mounted on the back of the, like on the inside of the front baffle. And so it'll be pushed up against that and bolted on in a way that it, it'll allow that wood to move slightly. And the way it will expand and contract because the grain is going side to side is it'll get shorter in the winter, the, the entire speaker, I mean, it'll get shorter in the winter and it'll get a little bit taller in the summer. And I'm talking about maybe a quarter inch. Now, let me describe the speakers to you a little bit before we go <laughs> any further. They're open baffle. I've been experimenting with that over the past year and I really like the results. Uh, I already showed the woofer which is a 15 inch uh, model here that i had like i bought way long time ago they're not they're not really expensive woofers but they're very good for what i want to do with them and like i said i've been experimenting with it or for the past year and i really like the way they sound they're giving me what i need so that's on the bottom next one up is a eight inch midwoofer, which will cover the frequency range from this up to the mid range. The mid range is either a five inch or a four inch. I haven't decided yet. I really need to put in the four inch ones that I have to compare it to the ones that I already like I've been using and do some measurements there as well. That's another thing I've been doing is a lot of measurements as I've been doing the listening too. I started cutting these parts out of the boards that were narrow, not as wide. And I used all those up and I also used up a couple wider ones. And I think I have very close to the right amount of say pieces that I need to put this together. And what I did was I just cut them down to a little over two inches wide. And that means that I can get the side wings, which are two inches and the fronts, which are one inch, say I can get two one inch ones from this if I need to. Although these ones aren't for the front, these longer ones are. So I can rip one inch and I'll have a one inch left over with, uh, you know, room to spare to get rid of this uh, mess on the edge here. So, like I said, I don't know if I have enough here to do it, but I stopped because I don't want to cut too many. Like, I can't put boards back together, but I can always cut more if I need them. Like, if I'm getting close to the end, I can see that I'm short. 
I can always cut them. And I think it's going to be interesting because, okay, the way these strips are going to be oriented, they're not going to show this face, this uh, grain that you see here, which is uh, flat sound or cathedral grain. You're going to see the edge grain on all of these pieces. So I think that's going to make it look more interesting. You'll have that. It's not, I can't say it's a plain, it's just a different look to the grain. Next step is to joint one face to make it nice and flat. Like all of these boards are cupped pretty, pretty badly. So it's cutting them down the middle, got rid of like flattened that part. So you still have a bit of a cup here, but I won't have to remove very much to get it nice and flat. So a lot of cutting and <laughs> jointing and planing. Later, I've got a bunch of strips. Uh, these are the ones for the front baffle, one inch by one inch, roughly. Um, top and bottom is planed. The front and back are just cut on the table saw. They don't have to be, well, not yet anyway. Um, they don't have to be that smooth. I need the smooth surfaces on the top and bottom to glue these together. And, you know, let me stack some up and you can see, maybe get a little bit of the effect here of what this is gonna look like. So I got the one inch strips, I got some shorter ones because as the, as the speaker goes up, it narrows, of course. And I've also got the two inch wide ones for the wings. Um, and like I said, these are tapered towards the back. So, these need to be cut on an angle. I'm going to be making a, a special taper cutting jig so that I'll be able to cut all these the same way. And the piece that I'll cut will go th through. Let me, how do I put this? It's going to be like the corners of this speaker will be overlapping almost like a box joint. So that's another thing that will look different. And so one of those, one of the pieces that I cut here will go through and the other one will be shorter and it will go on back. And then the next one will go, will go through and the other one that gets cut off the other side will go on back. And you'll see this later on in the build. 